guys welcome back to my garden so today's video i have to do a little bit of cleanup i came outside you guys to just see what was going on yes my tulips have arrived and are front and center in the front garden bed but a little bit about the tulips we came in and we mass planted this area with about a thousand tulips and we had a beautiful show in the spring and one thing that i love about the springtime is you'll see you'll always see a pop of yellow in my spring and in my fall display with my flowers so it was very important to me when i picked out my tulip i picked out something that i felt was going to go with my beautiful crab apple tree so i have a crab apple tree that we added in our front garden bed shortly after we bought our home it was something that i just had to have was a flowering tree so that same actually that same year that we bought our home we added the crab apple tree so in the springtime i am met with a beautiful display of beautiful just flowers just bursting open from this crab apple tree oh my god oh my god last season when i tell you it was just so beautiful out here the way all the tulips was just coming and so i have tulip blushing lady planted mass planted all throughout this area so that's one thing i like to do when i plant tulips i like to plant them in mass with the same color because you have a beautiful effect yesterday we had a storm and the storm just literally blew everything around so i come outside and i was met with pure disrespect do you know the wind blew off the tarp on my fountain like it's off so i don't know if if mother nature is saying that spring is here or spring is coming but it can be that because it is supposed to snow tomorrow yes snow so tomorrow we're supposed to get snow i'm a little bit bummed about that but it is a part of the game especially when you deal with the bipolar weather of the st louis region i'm gonna do today cover the fountain back up because it's kind of windy and i don't want it to blow the camera over and then i'm just gonna give you guys show you guys what's going on so far uh in the garden as far as tulips because the tulips are popping out everywhere now that that is disrespect to the fullest one of the things i like to do with my fountains i'm going to go ahead and cover her up now had i come outside and we were further along in the winter time and i knew that the temperatures were not going to get below freezing i would potentially go ahead and get her hooked up you want to try to stay away from like she's dry she's been dry all winter um this is the first time that her tarp has been off the fountain has another tier but it's here in the bottom of it and so what we do is we take that top part off we take off the top part and then we go in and we cover her up so let me go ahead and get this girl covered up although i don't want to i don't want to cover her up i want to hook her up because oh my god like this is my baby this is the first fountain that we had here on this property and this is my heart like oh my god like she's just amazing so let's uh get her covered up
first bought this fountain years ago, we bought a fountain cover. I really wasn't a fan of it. I would have had to take down too many of the levels because that was the largest size that I could find. That year, what we did was we just went ahead and we used the tarp covered it up and that's literally been my regimen all of the fountains that i have on my property what i like to use is i like i just go in and i use tarps it's simple it's easy and that's something that you can always find with the fountain covers after a few days of searching for them i quickly gave up on that like the hookara that still looks good like all of that just beautiful foliage and then like all like right here just tulips are just coming up just popping everywhere more tulips as you can see the tulips are everywhere so i wanted to get out here and put fresh mulch down before the tulips started coming up but i have to remove the old mulch but that didn't happen because they're coming up so fast uh this year but what i think i'm gonna do is i'm going to leave this in place just do the normal ritual that i normally would do which is let the tulips come up let them bloom to so the helicopters and the rest of the trees that hold on to their leaves go ahead and drop those then I'll go in and then I'll put down a fresh bed of mulch. I was going to pull the containers at the front door and I had everything all done since my other reef is just gone with the wind. But let me show you where the reef landed because it actually looks like a design element and that's where I left it. But let me show you what that looks like. It looks a hot mess. But let me show you what it looks like. So here's the reef. This is where the reef fell down. I will be saving the pine cones from here. And of course my monogram W. That's why I wish, I, I wonder if I'd ride around, will I be able to find my uh, other reef that got blown away in the wind? And uh, the containers, the containers, you can see where the containers are showing like that they've been out here all winter. I mean, but the foliage still looks good. It is starting to brown a little bit. You can start to you can see the brown in there so technically i could uh just remove everything that reminds us of christmas and turn these into a valentine's day situation with very minimal effort like minimal effort and it would be easy and what i would do is i probably would keep the greens or actually i'm not sure let me see what time it is if we have time for me to go ahead and do that I'll switch these containers out, make my reef for today, and um, let me get this up. So hold on. now that i think about it what i think i'm gonna do is i am going to alter what i can change out my reef go ahead get this area looking like a valentine's day vibe i'm gonna run inside real quick and make two reefs just to put on the front door i probably won't do much to the containers because it is supposed to potentially snow tomorrow I'm gonna pull the berries. I'm gonna go ahead and pull those. The hydrangeas. Well, I'm gonna pull the berries, the ones that, well, these kind of look frosted. So I might put these back in here. I'm gonna pull the ones that's tattered and that look messed up. So like this one, I could probably just snip that off. And a few of the berries that look really bad, like you see this one. So, I am going to pull this one out, but I guess I could just 
cut this out of it because I'm not sure what all I have to just go ahead and doll this up and make this look more like Valentine's Day. Also, I'm going to go ahead and cut back uh, some of these uh, perennials and stuff like that. And the wind has again blown my fountain. Now, that is not disrespectful. That's what I'm saying. I don't know. I might just pull it all the way off or probably just go get some rope and tie it back up. Like, this is crazy but okay what i'm dealt with easy fix okay so let's get going down real quick because my tulips are in this bed so I'm just gonna go ahead and add some mushroom compost normally in my flower beds I like to come out and add a layer of compost and that way um, you know it just feeds the soil my containers like you'll see me adding compost to improve the soil especially the ones that I have perennial plants in without fail I come in and I add some compost throughout the season They just rode down the street putting down salt. Baby, it's about to go down. Like, I have already, since I've been out here working, I have literally felt the temperature, like, drop. Like, drop. Like, my hands are ice cold. Mm -hmm. go ahead and just throw a real quick reef together nothing real fancy just something so I can pull myself out of that holiday look that I have going on and just progress it along for me I feel like you can keep winter containers up until you plant your spring containers up perfectly 100% fine now most people in February in February around Valentine's Day they're still covered in inches of snow and their winter containers might be frozen in place. So I'm just going to go ahead and make a real quick grapevine wreath. Nothing fancy. I'm just going to go in and I'm going to also put up a flag out there as well 
get my Valentine's Day flag out. I mean, if I'm doing it, I might as well do it. And then the next change that I make in those containers would be when I go in and add my uh, early spring container. So I'm not going to take the chance with uh, putting those early tough spring uh, annuals through temperatures like that. Now, the difference between them being in the ground and in the container, in the ground they're rooted in, I'm going to have to just go ahead and just improvise. So I whipped two reefs together real quick. Not nothing to just some real simple reefs. Go outside, hang those up. I'm going to go ahead, do the right thing, pull out and take Christmas down and let us march on forward into early spring with our 12 degree weather. Real quick pick. I'm just going to take this, stick it in the bottom. I'm going to stick it in the bottom, stick it up, and to help stabilize it a little bit more, I'm going to go in and then I'm going to take the scissors and I'm going to nip this part off. All right. I went in and I added some mesh. I pulled out all of the hydrangeas, the magnolia stems that I had in there. I left the birch wood, I left the red twig dogwood, and then I left the floral greens. I also went in and, and added some mesh. Then I made some heart picks. These were just easy. Um, the little hearts just cost 98 cents in the Valentine's Day section at Walmart. Um, just something simple how I took my Decor that I added in late fall, push that over through winter, and then now I'm going to use that for my late winter until I go ahead and plant up my early spring containers for my front door. And then with the reefs, I just took a grapevine reef, I took some burlap, and then I went ahead and added a bowl with the polka dot in red. And then this also, these colors also echo from the reef, and then you have them also down here. I also went in and I pulled out my bow and I didn't embellish the front of my containers to switch it up. Then I went in and I added a beautiful flag to this area. That way everything is coherent. So when you ride down the street, you see my beautiful display. And then also you see the W monogram, crazy, crazy, crazy over all things monogram. And then the flag, I like it because it has those polka dots inside of the heart. And then in addition to having the polka dots inside of the heart, I brought everything back in with the polka dots here and then I echoed the hearts. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. And also you guys, are you staying warm? Like we have the snow is falling down now. When I was out working, they drove by and they put down salt. So when they did that, I knew it was going to get bad. But I'm going to go inside and get me a nice warm cup of coffee. And I'll be showing you pictures later. Thank you guys for watching. Bye-bye.